Hello everyone, welcome to my Minecraft Let's Play. This is Mike as usual. So today we are going to play with some new machines. I have some projects which will need these, so I decided to prepare a little setup to build them. So the first machine is the compressor. And the compressor is a really simple machine to do. For the compressor, the only thing you need is a machine block, some stone, and an electronic circuit. And I have all the materials that I need right here. So for the electronic circuit, we'll need copper cables like this. So one, two, three. And then you'll need three on three copper cables above, three below, iron in the middle, and redstone on the end. So there you are. I'm doing three compressors because we will need two of them so our next machine. So apart from this, the only thing that you'll need is a machine block. And the machine block is then with refined iron. You get refined iron by cooking iron and you place them like this in a square and you get a machine block. So we need three of these. So this is really simple. You just need the machine block, the electronic circuit and then stone on the sides. And you get a compressor. So we're going to leave one compressor here and then we're going to take the other two here because the other machine that we are building and we are going to build both machines once one right after the other is the plate bending machine I've got also all the base materials for it and for the plate bending machine let's look up on name plate bending there it is you just need two compressors two electronic circuits four pistons and the conveyor module. It's really simple. So first things first, we have the two compressors. Let's do our two electronic circuits. So we already know how to make these. So we need uh, to make two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, like this. So we need like this. This is what we need, and then. One, two, three, four, five, six, and two that stones on the end, and with five iron, so we need two of these. Yeah. Right, so we have the two compressors and the two electronic circuits. Then we need pistons, and pistons are really simple to make. You just need cobblestone, wood planks, iron, and redstone. So we need iron, uh, that's an option, iron, then we need one, two, three, four, and we need one, two, three. So we need four of these. Four. Okay, we are near. Now the only thing that you need is the conveyor module. And for the conveyor module, well, that's something else. So we are going to use this recipe. We need three refined iron, three glass, a couple of energy surfaces, and an RE battery. And I'm just going to check the recipe for the RE battery. I know the recipe. So we're going to need uh, the copper cables here. 6 plus 6, 12. We need an extra one. So let's just. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3. So. Okay, this is what we need. So we'll make. Two of these, so one, two. Then we we'll need a battery. And the battery is really simple. We need four tin, two redstones, and copper cable above, and we get an RE battery. Next, we need a refined iron like this. We need to be glass. And we need the RE battery and the electronic circuit, and we get the conveyor module. This is really simple. So, all we need now is to place conveyor module in the middle, corners with pistons, the two electronic circuits, and we get a compressor. And now, the next step will be for me to show you what we will need these machines for. But first, let's place them, and these machines run on EUs, so we are going to place them right here. So one will be yeah, 
maybe one on each side and we change the torch to above yeah that looks that's, that's okay okay I wonder if I will be able to open my chest but let's hope this goes well so now we have plate bending machine on this side and we have our compressor and our compressor is not getting power so let's check it out real quick I'm lagging a little bit so I might get some cables and connect all of this behind maybe that will help I'm not sure something went wrong and I, I'm lucky because I have these extra copper cables so these will do so we actually need this this like this like this and like this so okay this is looking okay for me this one should be powered as well so these are our new toys I still can access my own chest which is nice and I'll have to work out a way to increase my seed oil production but maybe I'll even put another generator behind here I don't know yet that's something for me to think a little bit about but well, for now I think this is done. So let me just prepare a bit more materials, a few more materials, and I'll be right back. So I just want to show you what I'm up to because this will take me a long time unless I change a few things around here. But <clears throat> I want to compress my nether rack into nether bricks. My objective is to make a blast furnace. And I will need a lot of nether brick. I think I have enough nether brick for it. I think I need 37 blocks or something like that. And currently what I'm doing is exactly that. So I'm building some... I'm using the compressor. It compresses three nether racks into a nether brick. And once I have enough materials, I'll keep up with my project. I just want to build a blast furnace. Because I want to make steel. And steel will be useful to make uh, an advanced uh, steam boiler. I built a, a low pressure steam boiler, uh, and that is nice. It works really, really well. But I want to try out if it's if my my wood income is enough to power um, a high pressure boiler. And for the high pressure boiler, I will need a lot of steel. So I'm currently waiting for my compressor to compress stuff I don't know if it will be done today but once it's done I'll keep I'll continue with this episode and meanwhile well I'm going to check if my if I need more energy and if I do well then I'll work a bit on it maybe I'll add another semi-fluid generator I'm not completely sure yet I need to check what I have here so I'll be right back Okay, everyone, I'm back. I just had my compressor compress all of my nether bricks that I will need. So, this is a pretty simple build. So, all you need is blast furnace bricks, which are done this way. First, I'll need to make some magma cream, which is done really simply with the slime ball and blaze powder. So get all one of these and then this is really simple so you just need to place soul sand and nether brick so soul sand on the corners and nether brick on the other sides like this you get blast furnace bricks so here I have 36 of these which I believe should be enough I already have a place to, to put them here and maybe not that kind of seems nice for it. Because here I won't be doing anything else. So, 
let's see where I have my plus first. So this is really simple. What I need here is one, two, three. Like this. And place it in the the middle hollow. Another hollow layer. And this one is completely filled. So, I'm going to leave some torches around here just to avoid having any friends come by. And there it is, a blast furnace. So, this is useful for making. Uh, steel. And I'm just about to show you how to make steel, so I'm going to grab a few of these iron ingots and a bit of charcoal. Uh, charcoal is not the most efficient. Uh, hello? Okay. It's not the most efficient fuel. But then again, I just want to show you how to make steel, and I'm going to leave some steel here to paint. So, and I have some iron here, ready to start pulverizing. And I'm going to put, I might as well take all my iron bars there. I have a lot of iron, so this is not an issue. And I'm going to leave just to show you. So all we have to do is place the iron on the active part and charcoal down here. So I'm just going to place a few of these here and I'm going to let it cook. And so this is how you make steel and you will need steel for our one of our next projects projects which will be doing a high pressure boiler. Uh, I also want to show you another machine which is the coke oven. And the coke oven is really nice to make a few things. First, you can turn coal into co coal coke. Uh, and that's really really useful because it's a far better uh, uh, energy making material than coal or, or charcoal. C16K EU, and this one you do this for coke. So if you cook coal inside a coke oven, you get cocoa and that's nice and this is really simple all you need is some sand and some bricks and this is only three high and the middle is hollow so all you need is 18 plus 8 26 of these so I have here the materials the sand in the middle and, and the corners I'm not sure yeah, it's in the middle and in the corners. And you place the bricks on these pipes. So you get hope of one brick. So as I told you, you need 9 plus 9, 18 plus 8, 26 of these. So I'm going to make myself 26 of these. And I already prepared a small place for them. I want the cocoa one to be upstairs. I have some plans for it. Because I'll, I'll need to make a tank. Because when you cook something in the coal oven, coke oven, you get creosote oil. And creosote oil is nice for making, uh, for making rails, for example. It can also be used as, uh, as, um, to, to make energy, but it's not that efficient. So I'm not going to worry that much about it as, uh, energy making. Well, you could, I could use it. I'm making it. I could use it, but I need a lot of cocoa beans. And to be honest, I don't think it would be nice or useful to have about that. So what you need is to make the bottom layer like this. Then the middle layer, you leave it with an opening like this, and then. All you have to do is close it up like this. Then don't forget to place some torches just because it looks nice. 
and now I have a coke oven. And apart from the coke oven, I also want to make myself uh, a tank for storing fuel cell. So this is what I'm going to have my tank. I've gathered most of the stuff that I want. I don't know how big I want it, but let me check if I can make it this that looks good. Should be all the way back. Damn it. Yeah. This way. I think I have enough materials for this. If I don't yeah, I'll get them anytime soon. Okay. Now let's something like this, like this. And I can place this behind and I just have to right click this. And I have, well, it's not that big, and it has that stupid bed, but I think it will be enough. So, all I need to have is some piping back here. I think I had some little bits downstairs. So, now I have a little bit here. Oh, oh great. I don't need it that much. Yeah, I know. I could have done it in a more simple way using a wrench, but I don't have a wrench here, so and I need a wrench actually. <coughs> so then I'm going to show you what I do with it. I'm going to put some some wood there. And I found my liquidates inside my chest. Funny. I always find the liquidates after I make them. Just have to make a small click here. And now I'm going to get some 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 wood here. I'm going to cook it and I'm going to get some fuel so So here it is. All I have to do is go to my coke oven and put my oak wood in here and it will start cooking and it takes a long time and it will eventually start filling this tank uh, I will use the fuel sauton later on to build world tracks but for the time being this is it and well let me just check on the time. This pretty much sums up this episode. I just wanted to show you these two new machines that I have. These four new machines actually. The coke oven, the blast furnace, which we use to make steel, and the compressor and the plate bedding machine, which we didn't get to use yet, but we will use soon. So, well, this was just a simple tutorial build episode. Not much discovery of these or exploring, but uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, feel free to post any comments, any ideas. I have some ideas on automation, but I wanted to get this done before I start working on it. And I'll soon show them to you. Hope you've enjoyed the video, and see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.